Hello and welcome to this edition of Newsline at Noon, coming to you live from Seoul. I'm Lee Jun. And I'm Mark Broom. Thank you ever so much for joining us today. Our top story this afternoon, a plenary vote on President Park's pick for Prime Minister Lee Wan Gu is scheduled to be held at the National Assembly later today after his two-day confirmation hearing wrapped up last night. Yes, that was the plan. But the proceedings are being held up after the main opposition party asked to postpone the vote, leaving the rival parties to wrangle over when it should be held. Our Park ji starts us off. The confirmation hearing for Prime Minister nominee Lee Wan Go is over, and the Assembly vote on his nomination is supposed to be held this Thursday afternoon. But it's not clear whether that will happen as scheduled. The ruling Senate Party, which holds a strong majority at the Assembly, aims to go ahead with the vote this afternoon as planned. Speaking at the Assembly earlier in the day, the Conservative Party's chairman Kim Musong urged the opposition party to cooperate and allow the vote to proceed as scheduled in order to avoid a vacuum in state affairs. However, the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy party says it wants to delay the vote to sometime later this month. Party floor leader Wu Yun-gun stressed Thursday morning that, unfortunately, the nominee had fallen short of people's expectations due to various allegations surrounding his past. Wu added that if the ruling party presses ahead with the vote, the main opposition party will boycott it. Although Assembly Speaker Chung Ui hwa has urged rival parties to compromise on the issue, few are hopeful about the prospects for that. If they continue to disagree, it will be the first major clash between the rival camps since the election of the main opposition party's new chairman, Moon Jae-in, on Sunday. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.